Welcome to Math Meaning. My name is Chris Sieber. I am the creator of all the videos on this channel. I want to make learning math as simple and easy as possible, which is why I have free videos from basic level math all the way through algebra, calculus, and statistics. And I even have fun videos like this one to, to help you think outside the box. So let's get started right away. So here in this problem, we have a boy who wants to go swimming. And little does he know that this pool magically shrinks every time somebody jumps into it. So he jumps into the pool, and after he does, the width shrinks by one-third, and the length shrinks by one-half. So the boy immediately gets out of the pool, and he's wondering what just happened. And just to make sure that he's not going crazy, he decides to jump in the pool again, and once again, the width shrinks by one-third, and the length shrinks by one half. The boy continues to think he's going crazy and he's seeing things, so he decides to jump in the pool a total of three times. And every single time, the width shrinks by one third and the length shrinks by one half. And at the end of the day, after he's jumped in the pool three times, the final area of the pool is a total of four square meters. So we know the final area of the pool is four square meters, and we also are given the original width of the pool. The original width is equal to nine meters, and the question for this video is, find the original length of the pool. Using this information that I have given you, you need to find the original length of the pool. So take your time, pause the video if you need to, and I will show you the solution in five seconds. So how do we find the original length of the pool? And the only thing we need is the formula for the area of the pool, or the area of a rectangle. And we know the area of a rectangle is equal to the length times the width. So we know if the area of the original pool is equal to the length times the width, then we can find the area of the shrunken pool by multiplying the width times one third and the length times one half. And then we multiply these together and we get the area of the shrunken pool. And we can simplify this even further by multiplying the one third times the one half and the area of the shrunken pool will be equal to one-sixth times the length times the width. Now if you multiply both sides of this equation by six, on the left-hand side we have six times the shrunken area, and on the right side the one-sixth and the six cancel each other out, so we just have the length times the width. So now at this point we can start plugging stuff into our equation we were given that the area of the pool was equal to four square meters after it shrinks three times. So we can plug a four into the shrunken area of the pool. And on the left side of the equation, we multiply four times six, and that's equal to 24 square meters. This is the area of the pool after it was shrunk two times. So now we can take this 24 square meters and we could plug it into the shrunken area of the pool again. Multiply it by six. Six times 24 is equal to 144 square meters. This is going to be the area of the pool after it was shrunk one time. And if we repeat this process one more time, we get the original area of the pool. So let's take our 144 square meters, plug it into the shrunken area, multiply that by six. Six times 144 is equal to 864 square meters. This is the original area of the pool. So now let's go back to our original pool. We just found out that the area is equal to 864 square meters. We were given at the beginning that the width of the pool was equal to nine meters. And once again, we can use our area formula to find the length of the pool. And once again, we can plug stuff into the equation. For the area of the pool, we can plug in an 864. For the width of the pool, we can plug in a nine. And we can solve for the length. We need to divide both sides of the equation by nine. 
and we know the length will be equal to 96 meters. And that is a really long pool. Not very realistic, but still a fun problem nonetheless. But let me know what you thought about this problem in the comments below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Too easy or too hard? Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one.